an emergency repair on the dip you can see behind me starting at 7 p.m. Repair plans call for the closure of I-20 westbound and I-55 southbound to be closed off for approximately 72 hours. According to MDOT, this is a major closure. This is a major closure. It's uh, it's 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 going to have a major impact on traffic. We've only um, shut down the interstate for a period of several days like this one other time, and that was in 2019 uh, for a bridge repair. Michael Flood with MDOT says the biggest detour will be for I-20 westbound traffic. You will have to detour up I-55 north to 220 back to I-20 westbound to get around us. This detour will add 15 to 30 minutes to your travel time. However, Flood says for local traffic, MDOT advises you to find a local road. MDOT says the repair is necessary to address the dip due to what crews believe is a ruptured pipe that heavily saturated the soil 35 feet underneath the roadway. So if we did not fix it, um, it could result in further sinking of the road and ultimately it could result in the road, um, you know, collapsing or, or washing out. Uh, you know, this is why we got to get deep down in there and see how serious this is. I mean, saturated soil over time, it'll just keep sinking and sinking and sinking. MDOT noticed the sinking last year and has been able to keep the roadway safe by placing a foam material under the road. However, this method is no longer working. Instead, they will replace the saturated soil with both crushed stone and asphalt. Contractors will also be out there determining the cause and recommending options for the permanent repair that will take place during a later date. This interstate that we're closing down tomorrow sees north of 110,000 vehicles a day. So that is, um, I, I can't think of another area in our state that's that heavily traveled. So this is, uh, this is something we got to do. It's very important. Madeline Nolan, 16 WAPT News.